So yesterday, Sony basically decided to greenlight the release of first looks at Resident Evil Welcome to Raccoon City, which, by the way, comes out in November of this year. It also looks extremely low budget and like some kind of cosplay parody. Here are the pictures if you missed them. Uh, This is apparently (laughs) Leon Kennedy. And then to the right, we have Claire Redfield. Both of them look completely off. Set looks cheap. Costumes look cheap. I mean, this looks like something that came from, from Party City or Spirit Halloween. I'm serious. This is terrible. And the cast is terrible. The only one that kind of looks okay is Chris Redfield. Though he looks too young. At least maybe he'll look older in different pictures. He should be a little bit older. This guy looks like he just walked out of college. Is not who should be playing Chris, in my opinion. He looks right, but he's just too young. Jill looks terrible. This is Wesker. Same thing. He looks too young. They should look a little bit more seasoned. You know what I'm saying? And Claire looks older than her brother. She just she doesn't look like him. She doesn't look like Claire. And and Leon looks terrible too. And then we have this. This is apparently a zombie, like a monster. And it looks cheap, real cheap. I think that's kind of the point that I tried to make in my last video, that this looks like cheap cosplay. And there's nothing wrong with cheap cosplay. The difference, though, is this is a major motion picture studio, and it looks like it was made for a YouTube short film. And I'm not knocking YouTube short films. A lot of them are really well done and really good. But, you know, this is a studio with millions of dollars (laughs) that could go into the budget. The casting is is the worst, though. And there's a reason for that. I'm going to show you this. But I thought this was really funny. So Jack Thursby posted this. (laughs) Leaked screenshot of Nemesis. And it's just a guy with, like, tape over his face and a a picture of teeth. (laughs) This will be Nemesis in the sequel. But check this out. Uh, so from Sankaku Complex, who went over the interview that IGN did on it. And the director decided to share his reasoning for why the cast looks the way they do. A Resident Evil movie teased director rejected actors who rejected, who perfectly recreated the characters. So he rejected people that fit the characters Looked like them, but he's got to push a little bit of an agenda, doesn't he? So this movie already off to a rough start. And then you find out that they wanted to push agenda before casting people that looked closer to the characters kind of tells you something. And I still, Claire looks so awful. Leon looks awful. This is. This is going to be a low budget disaster. They're ha- they haven't even shown a trailer for this and it comes out in two months. Like, I didn't even know this was a thing. And a lot of people were confusing it with the Netflix version. That's something I saw too yesterday. People were confusing this with the Netflix version of Resident Evil. Already, we're off to a bad start. So let's go over what was said here. Let's take a look at what was said. IGN. Can you talk about the casting of the roles of Leon and Jill and what you wanted to achieve with that? Roberts, it was hugely important that with the whole casting process to find people who embody the spirit and energy of the characters I wanted to portray. I think often in game adaptations, one of the big flaws can be just casting someone to look visually like the characters, giving them the identical haircut and clothes but not really trying to give the audience the thing that a movie does better than a game, which is to create a three-dimensional character that you can really connect with and believe in. I think, as I said before, one of the traps of falling into game adaptations is to make it feel like a giant cosplay version of the game. Well, you definitely pulled that off. I mean, you're already failing right there, man. Should have got a better costume director. Our cast is obviously 
much more diverse than the original games, but I just wanted to resist the trap of just casting someone who just happened to look like the character identically. We actually had a lot of actors who came in and recreated themselves perfectly visually as the character they were reading. I was, it was uncanny at times, ha! But it was not what I felt the story needed. With Jill, I knew Hannah from Ready Player One, and this show, and this show she was in at the time called The Stranger, and I just knew she'd be perfect. Leon was much harder. We, we must have seen so many people it was really quite a tricky role because of the balance of humor and wariness. Then Avon read, and I was like, he's the one. He gets it. So let me get this straight. You went through a lot of people. You basically say, we must have seen so many people. And this is the dude you cast for Leon. <laughs> and no disrespect to this guy. I'm sure he's a fine actor. He's just not Leon. He's not Leon. He looks nothing like Leon. I, I don't get Leon energy off of him. And maybe that's the cheap costume. Uh, the hair, too. I just, this isn't Leon. This isn't Jill. This isn't Claire, either. So, I, I don't know. This is going to be a disaster, but it's good to know, you know. Uh, this is basically a big statement saying we didn't want to cast a white dude for Leon. <laughs> that, that, that's basically what that is. Uh, this is going to be a shitty movie. Uh, I think even if Leon would have been perfectly casted, this would be a shit movie. It uh, just looks cheap and rushed and just, it's just not, it doesn't look good, right? And a lot of people were saying that over on Twitter. It, that's why it got roasted to hell. And it's just, what are you doing, Sony? How do you, how do you F this up? You think it would be really easy to just make, a Resident Evil horror game. You base it on the you base it on the games, and you stay true to the games. Boom! You you've got something already made that works. But instead, you just gotta go and tinker with it and mess with it. And all you end up doing is pissing off the fans. You're not to a good start when you're already pissing off the built-in audience that would support it and give you money there. And then you can just grow on top of that. There's a reason that it appeals to so many people, and there's like eight games, not even counting all of the spinoffs, that this series has. Like, obviously, it's successful. Just copy the success. <laughs> Boom, instant money. I don't, I just don't get it. Anyway, that's it. Let me know what you guys think about all this in the comments below. Also, if you would, please like, subscribe, share the video. Make sure you're still subscribed. Hit that notification bell, and I'll see you guys on the next one. Peace. Also, if you want to help support the channel, check out my Teespring store. There's a link in the description. You can find some merchandise in there that you might want to check out. Also, make sure to follow me over on Twitch. I do watch parties, play video games over there. They're always fun. Follow me over there and come hang out. Also, make sure you subscribe to Yellow Flash, my other channel. There's a link to that in the description as well. I do a lot of live streams over there that I don't do on this channel usually smaller and a little bit more personal. So make sure you follow me over there and sign up.